Greetings and salutations, my name is Deltran, doing Fire Emblem Heroes, showing you how to make Clarice into a defensive pain in the neck. If you want to turn her into a beast for PvP offense, or if you're looking for a cheaper build for her, I have some links for you, but for now, let's get into those defensive builds. This build will keep the Robin away. Uh, with colorless heroes become more popular, Triangle Adept Male Robin is making the rounds again, Clarice is here to say go home Robin, you're drunk, and this build also oh closely embodies what the original kit of Clarice is. Uh, I don't recommend ever having an assist skill on defensive teams. If you really need to have one, then go with Rally Attack, that's the most beneficial to everybody, otherwise at least stay away from all the movement skills, guys. It, it'll do nothing but give away uh, free victories to people. Otherwise, Clarice's bow, Moonbow, we got ourselves Fortress Defense so that we can tank a little bit, and Blue Tome Breaker is sort of our savior here. And of course, we kept the Threatened Defense 3 just because it does help. Whenever someone comes up and tries to gank our Clarice, thinking they're going to do it, they're going to stand there looking dumbfounded and then get that Threatened Defense 3 on there. In higher tiers, it's going to be a lot trickier, but you know what? This is something that people are really going to have to work around. As we can see here, not a Robin in sight. But Reinhardt is everywhere. He's just not going to let us go on this one, guys. And I wish I could say I had something for you, but that's not 100% the case. Uh, whenever you're defending against units with Death Blow, we don't lose as badly as you would think. You can see all 10 people there. Only a couple of them are really popular in the meta right now. Although, honestly, all of them can be formidable, and I have seen all of them in the arena at one point in time or another. We have a lot of draws, and that's really the biggest draw to her. Get it? I'm sorry, I'll see myself out. Is that we want people to just not be able to take her out. We don't necessarily care about killing you back. We want to just screw things up. You're going to get a bunch of debuffs on, on you, and then... The rest of the defensive team's gonna mop up. So if you want to at least keep a green unit next to your Clarice, so that you can kill uh, that little uh, eager Reinhardt, then maybe that's a good thing. Otherwise, this is a really solid defensive unit. Now, if you want something that's a little more aggressive, we can go ahead and give her a sweet, sweet silver bow. Keep the moon bow. Give her drag back because this is really annoying. Let me explain this real quick. Usually what will happen is if you put a melee unit next to a unit with drag back, they're going to slowly creep towards the enemy, and then it's going to create a strange situation where it's going to be difficult to get to that melee unit, or to, in this case, Clarice, without screwing something up. So this makes it more difficult for people. If you don't want to deal with that, then you know what, just go with none with this. Otherwise, we're using distance defense, and there's a great reason for a quick repose that makes the aggressiveness. Take a look at this, guys. There's no Reinhardt in the first or second row. Now she's in the third with life and death, and that means with death blow. I tried, but you know what? At least in lower tiers, this Clarice is going to be able to handle Reinhardt, and later on, it's going to at least be very difficult to um, make other things handle. Olwyn's not going to be doing anything. Uh, once again, I show all the popular uh, losses here, except for the top row where we just show everybody. Um, this is a very aggressive build. It's a little unconventional because I don't think I've ever heard anyone recommend putting a silver bow on somebody before. But you know what? It's, it's a big pain in the butt. There's a lot more losses here because with distance defense, we're catered more towards the ranged attackers as opposed to the melee attackers, and the melee attackers just really gang up on us anymore. So that's what's going on here. Hey, if you could do me a favor, and if you're on mobile, rotate your phone back to portrait mode. If you're on your computer, hit escape to get rid of full screen mode, and click on that like button. If I give you something to chew on, it'll encourage me to keep on making all these great content. Uh, subscribe if you want to have new builds delivered to you hot and fresh, just like grandma's cookies. Mmm, now I'm hungry. Crap. And if you're looking for a build that's a little more on the budget side, or something that makes her go on the offensive, I got some links for you. Thank you guys, I greatly appreciate it, and until next time, take care.